Do make sure you be careful when you come to these trails. Sometimes trees take staircases out. Got this reported. Well, howdy folks. Sean here from Hiking with Sean on YouTube. And today I'm at Millstone Bluff and I'm going to walk up here a little ways and check out this bluff area before I get on the main trail and uh, check out all the Native American stuff. Um, I never really noticed all this bluff area before so I thought I'll check it out because it looks like up here it used to be like an old wall of sorts or they stacked up rocks to make it look pretty or whatever they've done but it's all sorts of little bluffs and stuff and it may be a way up the big bluff so I'm gonna check it out here's where I'm gonna go in at you know I've never actually been on the top of this bluff area right at the start of Millstone Bluff so here we are on top pretty cool um, just a neat little area now there's a scene wow that's pretty cool it's a good picture Alrighty, off the bluff on the main trail. Here's the signage in case you want to pause and read it. And then here's a millstone. Alrighty, folks. One of the put the sign on video because I'm wore out after climbing up the hill and I did give you guys something to see. <laughs> so, Millstone Bluff. And it smells smoky out here. The Forest Service doing a burn off that way. Been doing a lot of burns lately. It's a good thing though, make the forest very improved. And here is the community cemetery. There's a grave here. It's been vandalized and uh, grave robbed probably long, long ago. And you might be able to spot other graves, depressions. Uh, I don't think there's anything left. I think someone told me that all the graves have been robbed at uh, here at Millstone Bluff. I don't think there's no, uh, nothing left, which is sad, but you know, that's, that's how life was. And these were really dirty <laughs> until a couple of bluffage rangers cleaned it all up. And here's the <laughs> petroglyph bluffage. And there's the bird. A lot of millstone bluff art is really uh, dissipating away. It's fading. So they're doing some burning today. And I don't know if you can tell, but you can see the smoke in the horizon. It's not fog. It's all smoke. And it's kind of filling up the forested area. But it's important they burn. So, help make the forest a lot better, the stand, improve the stand, and so on and so forth. 
Alrighty folks, here's some more educational material in case you want to pause and read. And here's a, a dwelling. You can see the depression in the ground. That's where uh, the dwelling was at one time. And there's uh, these depressions are all over out here, which makes it really unique. And then it, it also makes it really interesting when you're not around here, but you're in the other parts of the forest and you see a depression. You're like, hmm, I wonder what that was. And like, here's the, what they called the community building. In case you wanna pause and read. And it's like a much larger depression. They thought maybe they all gathered here to, you know, discuss tribal relations and whatnot but as you can see there's more depressions they're all over and uh used to be a whole little community it's really cool it's really interesting and this was the public square so all sorts of little homes everywhere. And uh, that's just our interpretation of what it was like here for, uh, for the Mississippians. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Alrighty folks, got some daffodils. And you know when, when there's daffodils, there's usually some sort of sign of old settlement, like this thing. Isn't that cool? Still a millstone off trail a little bit. And it's pretty neat. And it has a little metal, or not metal, but a little plate for it. Cast iron. And uh, really cool. Um, thinking maybe they used to put dynamite in here um, for the millstone operation. Who knows? If anyone knows, feel free to leave a comment down below. Tell me what you what you uh, know. Alrighty, folks. Here's another sign of old settlement out here. It's just an old well that has been covered. So it's a plus, and it's not too far from the, uh, the little dynamite room or whatever. The forest is filling with smoke. Uh, the forest is rather smoky. Because <laughs> um, all the prescribed burn, but kind of neat. I mean, it made the eyes water a little bit, no big deal. Um, now I'm sure if you're in the main part of the burn, it'd be unbearable. All right fire activity ahead I'm hoping to get some of this on video I think it'd be cool to add to a video but you could tell it's all smoky <coughs> um, whoop. I've been zooming in on you could tell it's all smoky out here so they're doing burning somewhere um, don't exactly know where they're burning today but it said fire activity ahead so I'm guessing it's up ahead and uh, yeah good thing about forest prescribed burns you know some people don't like don't like it but it's important to understand you know what what good they are um, they help with forest stand improvement they get rid of invasives that really hurts our uh, our natives, and uh, it's important. You know, it's important to do it. Um, the Indians did it. The Native Americans did it, and then we came in and kind of quit doing it and stopped them from doing it. And then we realized, hey, maybe we should be doing it. So now we do it. 
so it's a good idea. I was hoping to see some forest fire vehicles and stuff like that. Thought that'd be cool to add to the video, but I don't think we're gonna see that.